Hi, I'm going today to show you how to draw a basic window in AutoCAD. I'm going to show you how to draw it in plan and in elevation with the different types and also in section. This tutorial is basically aimed for my student, uh, AutoCAD student actually, so that might help you to do a little bit with your exercise jobs. Uh, let me start with uh, the window. Uh, as a plan so I'm gonna come here uh, make sure again as I said in my previous uh, how to make doors basic door start up with the unit double check its millimeter uh, double check your main weapons just go the units and then object snaps see if the snaps on this one and then double check the rest of the required option that we talked about which is in point midpoint uh, quadrant all that is on to so just hit ok and then go to midpoint of this room just go down and just divide that offset let's say 1000 uh, so 1000 to the right and then 1000 to the left that will make the entire length of the window is 2000 the trim tr space space and then get rid of this with crossing and then have uh, an offset actually of a 50 mil to the inside of the opening I always notice the student go outside, that's really wrong anyway. Just change the color for those two things, which represent the door, uh, sorry, the window frame. Zoom in, draw uh, two lines from the frame to the wall. Make sure not to extend the wall, that should be separated. So, this again, I'm gonna change that into red. You can just go ahead and draw a rectangle here like this uh, or sorry REC uh, you can draw a rectangle like that anyway if, if you like and it's also correct like here also anyway both are correct actually the rectangle one is much more uh, accurate uh, I'm gonna select those two things and I'm gonna change the color into red anyway here another line here that's one and here also those two things should be colored differently they represent the elevated part of the window they are, they are not the cut part anyway so come here and have from midpoint to midpoint and I will make an offset of 25 so that will represent the glass and then offset 50 again to represent the inner frame that's if it's operable you can just you can skip that actually and uh, you can make this as I am doing which is two frames if it's fixed panel or if it's operable I mean sorry you can just skip that and keep just uh, without it I mean you can just delete you can just make it like this all right or you can make it if you want it to be operable uh, to give better indication to make it like that some people do three lines some people just do it like this whatever think whatever you think is better some people actually change this into blue uh, I had lots of uh, architectural uh, symbols in here so whatever whatever you find yourself uh, suitable with anyway that's the plan so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take copy of this aside and uh, that for the plan I'm gonna draw the elevation so I'm gonna take the line that represent the ground and then I'm gonna project those wall opening thing here to the ground itself all the way down that represent the window itself uh, the window opening actually now let's go 1000 offset from here and then go offset 2200 which is the window head and then you can just uh, whatever method you want you can just go rectangle or just fill it whatever you think it's uh, you've, whatever you feel comfortable with uh, here just go uh, a rectangle so that's my window see the one difference that it have a cell which is the height from the lower part of the window to the ground not like the door going all the way down that's the window let's take an offset of 50 like that this is exactly even if you want to go to the old school the same method we do in the door I just can take this and then make fillet 
whatever you think better match property and I select this one and then I select those things to make them red this is a window that's the first type we call it fixed uh, it doesn't have any any uh, any uh, operable mechanism and some people just put some F here just a text that represents that this is a fixed if you want it to be operable so let's, let's assume that we have divided into two so I'm gonna just go here down and then go offset uh, maybe 25 to the right another 50 get rid of that MA you can just match property here or just select them and change the color over here whatever you think it's better for you uh, you can make them both fixed just this for a million just not to make it too long for two meters uh, some people might require that to be operable if this is an operable again REC and draw that and I will offset that 150 just like that down I'm gonna remove this dude it's uh, I don't need it anymore so delete I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna change the color into red and I can just uh, draw this line which is I'm too lazy to be doing it just this and that the text by the way so that symbol just represent uh, it's uh, an operable uh, yeesh, yeesh. so I have to copy that all actually so that's uh, that's the side uh, fixed doesn't have this so I'm, I'm gonna remove it and even that that's fixed that's the slide if you want it to be uh, hinged so I'm gonna pick it here and instead of this you should have uh, take a line and choose the side for the hinge and go to the midpoint and go there I'm gonna change this into whatever color you want so let's say it's yellow and then um, go to LT <sighs> LT here line type and then uh, if it, this is not loaded just hit load and then pick up this one if you didn't load that I did that in the previous in the previous door file anyway hit OK select this one and choose the line type for now from here and change the scale maybe to 10 now you get a that's this that's the a way to represent its hinge and it's operable that way I know it's too big uh, that's just a symbol just a way of uh, showing that should be just a smaller than that to gonna be too long for one meter to be moved I think it's uh, 80 better anyway 60 uh, that's it so in here you should consider having a cell S I L L that's the word uh, that is the lower height here from the lower edge of the window to the floor finish and different from the door height or window height which is this one that's the height or the head height that's way. Anyway. head height is actually uh, uh, here to here and the height is from this point to this point so again cell is from this to this height is this from here to here oopsie to here that's the height just uh, going over the terminology that's the cell that's the height that's the head height anyway uh, that's the that's the um, <clears throat> that's the elevation to section that, uh, that's the section technically. So the same way we've drawn the wall. So uh, sorry, the section for the for the door. So I'm gonna take this line and uh, two lines again, one here and offset 300, offset 300. So I'm gonna take that here. And it's a good idea to take those lines with you. So that's the opening here. Like that. And this one for the frame. Like such, anyway. Like that. Anywho, so trim. We don't want this. Trim, we don't want that. Anyhow, trim this, this, and get rid of that. And we have to change the, that's the frame actually. So I'm gonna change it to red. Same exactly way we've done 
the plan. We have to do it the same again. So zoom in here again and change the color to red. And I'm too lazy to draw them down, so I'm just gonna copy them here. And then here. Then you got our three lines basically one here and one in the middle and one in the end and I'm gonna assume that they are having different color let's say uh, yellow 50 sorry 25 for this guy like this and 25 here I'm gonna remove this one and offset again 50 this time TR space space remove that that match property this one to this one and to this one you can just draw that again or just mirror it say too lazy again to draw so mirror and that's it that's technically the section for the window that's the major frame you can cancel this line if they fix if it's operable it's a good idea to have those two small rectangles that's it folks i wish that uh, this tutorial is very easy and basics for my uh, basic student and, and autocad i wish that you find it useful thank you and have a good day